Hello, I teach maths at Farlingay, and over the next few minutes I'm going to try to persuade you to study maths in the sixth form. We're going to answer, to start with, two questions, and the first question is, why is maths important? Have a watch of this video. That's why you see these numbers. Look at that chart. Look at that. You don't have to know what's on it. What difference? Look at the line. You don't have to know what the hell is on it. All you know is, that's a good line. What's going on with this line? Is it a good line? Is it a bad line? Does it matter? What's going on with this weird scale? Now you can't escape being bombarded with statistics every time you turn on the news. And it's mathematics that explains the crisis that we're in, as well as how we're going to get out of it. So of course mathematics matters. Now, let's answer why you should study maths. I'm going to give you three reasons, and the first is going to appeal to the mercenary side of your nature. It's going to make you money. Have a look at the degrees that lead to the highest paid jobs. All of them require maths. Let's now ask students why they've studied maths. I've taken maths because it's going to make me a fortune. It's all about the money for me, and that's why I took maths. Yeah. I took maths because I want to get really rich. Now, the second reason that why you might want to study maths is obvious when you look at me. Maths makes you desirable. I teach maths. I teach maths. I teach maths. I teach maths. <laughs> I teach maths. Of course I teach maths. I teach further maths. I don't teach maths. There's still a lot of kudos to having an A-level in maths, with a qualification highly regarded by employers, but also by universities, with maths A-level being either essential or highly desired. Have a look at the degree courses where this is the case on the screen. The third and the most important reason why you would study maths is that you enjoy the subject. Mathematics is difficult. If you enjoy the subject, you're far more likely to persevere when the going gets tough. Let's go and ask some students what they think about this. I've taken maths because I love it. I've taken maths because I love it. I take maths because I love it. Having decided to take maths, what are you going to study? Now, mathematics is traditionally split into pure mechanics, which is the study of motion, and statistics, which is the study of data. Let's go and ask some students what they're studying. So, can you tell us what you're doing? Uh, maths. Uh, maths. <laughs> now, if maths makes you desirable, what do you think further maths is going to do? I took further maths because I love it and it will open so many doors for me in the future. So, further maths we've been doing, in mechanics we're doing some circular motion, uh, in stats we've been looking at um, distributions and um, standard deviations, and then in Pure, we've been looking at uh, recently parametric equations and how to um, apply calculus to those uh, like we would with, uh, with normal kind of Cartesian equations. I love it. It's the best subject. It widens them and it opens more doors than you think. Now, if you've decided that you're not going to take A-level maths or further maths, one other option for you to consider is core maths. With all of the changes to the A-levels in the last couple of years, you will find that pretty much every subject that you study has a vast amount of maths in it. To support you, we offer a level three qualification called Core Maths. It's all about problem solving, and it's great fun. Do your maths! Do your maths! So Mr. Smith, what made you take maths for a -level? Well, I didn't take maths at all. Go. What if I... Uh... Keep going. Okay. Year 11. Don't be like Mr. Smith. Get rich. Get desirable. Study maths.